I used to work in casinos. I was a croupier. Really? I started doing it in Newcastle, and then I moved down to London and did it in the best casinos in London. I've dealt to foreign royalty, um, movie stars. Who is the most famous person you've dealt to? Telly Savalas, who actually said a poem to me. Who's that? Who's that? And the most famous person I ever dealt was Omar Sharif. And he was sitting at the bottom of my table and I went, oh my God, it's Omar Sharif. So who is that then? Omar Sharif. A boxer? No, he was, he was just a really, really, really <coughs> famous, famous, famous movie star. I've never ever heard of these famous dudes that she was talking about. Like, I was like, who? Omar who? The only Omar I know is Homer Simpson. <laughs> That's actually very good, Debs. No one knew who my celebrities were. Bit sad, trying to impress and they don't know who they are. Working in casinos wasn't my dream job. My dream job would be a DJ in one of the clubs in a beta. No. Yeah, why not? DJ Dave the Dave. Rave. In the mix. Ah. Come and hit you. <laughs> My chuck one too. In Ibiza. <laughs> the Ibithan donkey on the DJ stand. <laughs> Dave would be the worst Ibithan DJ ever. He'd get booed off stage, no one would like him, and he would have to get an early flight home. Sorry, Dave. Crikey, don't sugarcoat it. So, Debs, what would your dream job be? Sorry. I think you make a really good PA to Dave. Fuck. <laughs> You're cruising like. There is a thread to be tugged at with Deborah and David, um, and I can't help but keep tugging. Dave, what do you PA material? Oh, yes. She'd be hard work, wouldn't she? She would never stop rabbiting on. It's rabbiting on? <laughs> <laughs> the name's weird. As if you just said that. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a talker. Well, that depends what you're saying. Anyway, how's the main doing? Oh, one of my little fishies has lost its eye. Well, that makes it a fish. <laughs> don't worry about it. Here goes. And there it is, ginger fish, spuds and beans with a veggie version for Delphi. Oh, oh my Yours God. is huge, darling. That's fine, I like it big. Did you make this pastry by yourself? From scratch? No, no one, but no one makes puff pastry. So if you enter into competition and you're gonna have a pastry dish, my personal opinion is that you should make that pastry. I think Karen should have made her own pastry, even though I know puff pastry is a nightmare to make. And she's right, no one does make puff pastry, so don't serve it. So where's the ginger? It's in with the fish. I had a massive hit of, there must have been a huge chunk of ginger. You, you then all of a sudden couldn't taste the salmon, you could just taste the ginger. I've never really liked salmon, the smell puts us off. Actually, it's not that bad and I actually am I'm enjoying it. Yeah. My palate has had a definite workout and it's only been like, it's only day two. I've tasted things that I haven't really tasted before. The veg itself inside was lovely, um, but I'd just eaten it for my starter sort of thing. What are you up to there then, Mark? I did hide the salmon under the leaves a little bit. I buried the fish under a pile of leaves. How old are you? Looking at the plates, I don't think many people like the fish. I love salmon and I'm doing a meal that I love. So, so are we all single, guys? Here. I am. I am. I am happily single. Are you single? I'm not, no. I'm, uh, I'm a married man. Happily? Yes, very. Uh, did you do the get it down on one knee thing? And, uh, yeah, tell us about your engagement. Your proposal. So I did it on the second night in, in our first home, first time we owned a house together. Um, just got down on one knee in the lounge and asked her to marry me. And she, oh. yeah, no, was, you know. Had you christened the, round, the, the lounge at this point? And, and you know, when you, when you get in your house, you christen every room, don't you? In my, you know, I think you christen every room. Didn't have you pegged as a religious man, David. 